Hi, Carmen. Hi, David. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Great. Did you want to show the, your screen for the presentation or would you like me to? Um, either way, it's fine with me. I've got it all queued up. So if I can be of assistance, let me just put it up and you can just tell me when you want to advance. Okay, great. Thank you. Sure. Can you see that? I sure can. So now you and I just chat for a couple hours. <laughs> so we wait to see if anybody wants to hear about the details and ask you any questions. Uh, just yeah, like if I you know. were in. I'm just yeah. teasing. Yeah. You know, yours is kind of more central. We've got a lot of applications that are out in the ETJs. So to make yeah. everybody kind of one central point for a 10 minute conversation, this seemed like a better idea. No, that's. It's a very good idea. There's quite a few this time, so. Let me turn my camera on at least briefly so I can say hi. I'll maybe turn it on if someone okay. gets on the yeah. gets on the call.
Hello, Peter Eccles. Good evening. You have found your way to the room with no attendees yet. Right. But we are ready to go when they show up. Sure is nice in here. It's quiet, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, please ping me if you feel I could benefit from whatever conversation happens. I'll be bouncing back and forth. You got it. Thanks.
a little Kyle Bateman. Kyle, we can see you, but if you are speaking or, or want to ask questions or want to see the presentation, uh, just come off mute and let us know, please.
Hello, Andre. Greetings. How are you tonight? I'd say doing well. Would you like to hear about amendment, proposed amendment C, South West Side Drive? That sounds interesting, yes. Okay, Carmen, you're up. All right. Hello, Andre. Um, Hello. David uh, has it, the presentation pulled up, so if you want to go to the first slide, please. So this is located um, south of 610 and just on the uh, east side of Makawa Drive, south of Dixie Drive. Next slide. Currently, the major thoroughfare plan shows the South Wayside Drive going from Dixie down to Makawa. And we are requesting that that portion of the major thoroughfare plan is deleted um, as we don't think that it is feasible to be built. Next slide, please. So there is currently an upgrade happening um, with a uh, capital improvement project with the city of Houston that goes from for North Wayside Drive from 610 down to Dixie Road. And there's not, nothing in the CIP plan that imp that shows the uh, right of way being improved for South Wayside. That right of way is currently not an improved an improved road. So there's there's nothing there at the moment. Next slide. So the other thing to note is that the original or the current major thoroughfare plan does show that uh, TxDOT is coming in with a potential project for um, State Highway 35. And if we look at the next slide, you can see that they do have a plan. It is not final at the moment but it does terminate at Dixie Road and does not line up with South Wayside. So um, in combination with that, there is a railroad on, on Makawa in between the current right of way and Makawa Drive. And there isn't, the geometry just doesn't lend itself to being able to go over Makawa and there's also a, a current railroad crossing already at Dixie Drive. So we don't think it's feasible to add another at grade crossing. So we would be classifying this from a T4 100, meaning a 100 foot right of way um, to delete that portion. And I'm happy to take any questions you have. That was interesting. I was just curious about the general thing. I don't really live in the area. I just kind of wanted to learn about uh, some of the stuff that was kind of going on with the plan, as it were. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. Okay. Well, if you think of something and want to hop back in the room, um, please let me know. You know, it's a it's an unimproved right of way right now, and we really don't see it being feasible to improve it in the future. So. We don't think that the city actually needs it. Very well. Um, I think I got all that I wanted to out of this particular room. I'm probably going to move on to another one of the what is it, Ray God rooms. But thank you for the information. Absolutely. Thank you for joining. You were our first guest. Never would have guessed. Okay. <laughs> and then, Oh, bye guys. Bye.
And Carmen, if you need to step away at any point for a couple of minutes, get some of the drink, bathroom or anything, I'm, I'm here. I don't feel like you need to stare at your screen. Okay, great. Thanks, David. And full yeah. disclosure, I just fed my cat, so. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely.
Hello, David. Hi, how are you? All right. I don't know that we've, excuse me, you call me nibbling a snack. Um, I don't know that we've met. I'm David Fields. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember meeting, of course, being at home so long. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really met much of anybody in the last two years, except online. <laughs> well, welcome. Um, did you want to hear the Hi, presentation? Hi, David. Hey, Carmen, how are you? I'm okay, thanks, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Good. David and I know each other already, David. Oh, okay, great. Now, just, uh, just hopping around a little bit to uh, see if there's any questions. Got it. Well, you're very welcome here, but it's been pretty quiet on this one. Yeah, the. Uh, That's a good thing, right? Yeah, it usually is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Kingwood one was a was a little more lively. <laughs> yeah, that's a complicated one. Do you have any questions on this one, David? No, no, I um, when I looked at it before, I, I didn't see any issues from our end. Yeah, I don't think it involves any time control items, so I think you're you're off the hook on mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to hop to another one. Okay. Thank you for okay. stopping by. Okay, good talking to you. You too.
Hello. Hello, Lydia. Welcome. How are you this evening? All right. Welcome to room C. Would you like to hear the presentation? Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Take it away, Carmen. Hello, Lydia. Um, did, it... did David, could you go to the first slide, please? So, Lydia, this project is located just south of 610 off Makawa Drive and uh, bordered with Northdale on the east, Macawa and the railroad on the west, and Dixie Drive to the north. Next slide, please. So this is the portion of the existing major thoroughfare plan that we are proposing is abandoned. So just just through our, we own the entire green property that uh, you're looking at and. Uh, so it's just a portion between Dixie and Macawa. Next slide, please. Oh, and and it's worth noting from that slide that it is an unimproved right of way currently. So North Wayside Drive is currently uh, there's a CIP project to improve that portion of the road but there is nothing in the CIP plan to improve um, the right of way for South Wayside. Next slide, please. Uh, worth, worth noting in the existing major thoroughfare plan, uh, they are recognizing that TxDOT has a plan for, for State Highway 35 that currently terminates um the, so you can see the major thoroughfare plan shows it all the way through the site but if you go to the next slide you'll see that um the original plan was to go further south to belfort and that has now been truncated and comes down back to grade right at dixie and does not align with the existing 100 foot right of way for south wayside also worth noting is that the terminus for the existing South Wayside right of way uh, uh, that we are proposing to abandon does terminate at a, a railroad. There's currently an at grade crossing at Dixie Drive, and we don't believe that the geometry associated with uh, the existing South Way side on the west side of Macawa would allow for any overhead uh, to go over Macawa, and we don't think that the railroad railroad would allow an, an additional at grade crossing. So we are proposing to take the currently classified T4100. Uh, which is the major thoroughfare with the 100 foot right of way and abandon that portion just within our site. And I'm open to questions. Um, are you proposing an alternative in lieu of just. Or you're just proposing just that term uh, that removal. No, I think we're we're just proposing that removal, you know, because there Macawa is a fairly robust major thoroughfare right at the moment, and uh, there are no plans in the CIP project um, to improve it. And I think part of that reason is because of the railroad and because there isn't the opportunity to go over Macawa. Um, we feel like the uh, the traffic impact analysis that we have done for the site and have had approved shows that there's adequate traffic uh, volume availability within the roads around the site. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Absolutely. Y'all have a nice evening. Bye bye. You too.
Hello, this is Commissioner Allman. How are y'all doing? Hi there. How are you today? Good, good. Um, so I just um would have just have just joined that. Um, and I had some questions on South Wayside and and the um are is the city looking although I'm, I'm not sure is, is the city looking at alternative alignment or something for this or I know that there was a um was it la two years ago perhaps we had something further south on south way side um where the, there was a discussion on having um the, the planning department was going to have to to look at the whole corridor and um wayside south wayside corridor because of um some difficulties in in the right away um has ha, has the planning department been able to do something like that and if so did it include this section or not or was it more limited because i know this was further south of quite a ways south of the park and everything yeah so that was a separate application uh, we have been coordinating with TxDOT on their SH-35 design, uh, okay. and, which is part of this presentation. Right. Um, and if you like, David, I'm back on it. Hey, Carmen. Um, so, Susan, hey, if you'd sorry. like to think, go through all the details on this one, if that would help. Yes, that'll be great. Yeah. Great. Okay, Carmen, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, Hi, Susan. Hi, Hi Peter. Hi, Carmen. So, so um, hang on, let me. Can you still hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Sorry, I was getting some feedback there. Um, this project is uh, immediately south of Dixie Drive and adjacent to Makawa and Northdale. Uh, David, if you could go to the next slide, please. Right. So this is the portion that we are proposing for abandonment. So it's just within, so we own everything in green. Um, it's just within the portion of our property between Dixie and Makawa, and it is currently an unimproved portion of right of way. Next right. slide, please. So Currently, there's a CIP project going on. I don't know if it's been let yet, but um, North Wayside Drive is an improvement project. It's a CIP project, and I believe it is uh, in partnership with the TERS that's over there. But there's okay, and it terminates on the, just on the north side of your project, right? To the north of your project. That's right. Yes, okay. that's right. It terminates. Okay terminates at Dixie Drive and there's nothing on the books right now for the right of way within our uh, bordered by our property. Uh, the next slide, please. So what you may have been thinking of, Susan, is the they're in the current major thoroughfare plan, it shows a proposed uh, State Highway 35, which is a text dot project. And originally, as you can see, it kind of comes down, goes through the project, looks maybe you'd be following slightly the south way side and goes down to Belfort. Right. Um, but you can see in the in the next slide, this is um, the current plan for TxDOT. And D David, if you could zoom in somehow on that. but originally and they acknowledge this in all of their documentation that originally that was planned to go to south belfort or to belfort and it's now been truncated so there's an overhead or a elevated portion rather that goes kind of where that where you can see the yellow and red and then it comes back down to grade and terminates at dixie and it's worth noting that it doesn't terminate at the south way side right of way um so okay there so, is excuse a, me. There. so so excuse me so 35 is not gonna go i mean it's gonna go south of there correct i don't they know have, huh i don't know the answer to that um 
at the moment. Um, go ahead, David. Sure. Um, so right now it's unclear. TxDOT proposed to put it in what's called the Regional Transportation Plan, but it is oh. not there right now. It did not go through the, pro uh, the right process. So while TxDOT has talked about an extension, it is not officially on any of the planning documents for the region today. Oh, wow. So we have yeah. no idea what they're doing or anything. Huh? No, but we are trying to work with them on figuring out what that road needs to be. Uh, there's okay. discussion okay. about how much demand there really is coming up from the south, and uh, it's still an ongoing conversation. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, and I think, Susan, the way we're looking at it is that, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be aligning with that existing right of way for South Wayside. So mm -hmm. I think from a from a text dot perspective, I don't know that 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 thoroughfare would play into their planning. Um, what I was going to mention just briefly is that there's an at grade crossing of the railroad at Dixie, and the the right of way for South Wayside terminates um, on our western boundary right at that railroad. So those right. two are too close for another at grade crossing of right. the railroad. And I right. don't think that the available land on the west side of Macawa would allow for um, that to, for South Wayside to be elevated over Macawa and use that existing right of way. And okay, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah. And then South Wayside on the other side of Macala, it just goes down to is it Law Park? I think maybe. Yeah, right now it ends. I mean, well, I mean the roadway, not the right of way, but the roadway. I'm thinking. Yes. Um, it is shown on the thoroughfare plan to go through Law Park, but which was a discussion that was had a couple of years ago with another section of South Wayside. Um, and one of so, the things that we'll do is coordinate with TxDOT to try uh -huh. to get as much clarity as we can on the SH-35 plan that currently would uh, end at Dixie. So they'll be part of this conversation. Okay. And, okay. and we'll be able to report to that when we report to Planning Commission. Okay. All right, so right now there's just too many unknowns and to even, okay, figure that out. It's, it's. I mean, yeah, because North Wayside, and I don't know if it becomes something else. I couldn't find the name on the, on the major thoroughfare, but that, but that, the roadway extends for quite a distance. It's continuous for quite, or at least the right of way is continuous for quite a distance to the north. And, yeah, um, so Way Wayside goes up to Alt 90 right now and terminates there. And then on the other side of Makawa, um, it goes down and terminates at Vassar Road. Um, and there's a a park um, on the south side. I don't know if I can pull up. Or here, let me, can I share my screen, David? Are you doing, are you talking about to the north or to the south? No, I'm talking. I'm talking about to the south. So yeah, I know what it does to the, the south. Thank you, Carmen. Yeah, I know oh, okay. it. Is. Okay. I know. I know that law park. Yeah, yeah I had mentioned that. So okay. I think yeah. that's what you're talking yeah. about, right? It's law park. Yeah. Um, and then to the north, it it terminates right here at Alt 90 on Old Spanish Trail. Okay. Is okay. So then, but it does provide. So then it intersects with. ODST, and then the roadway, though, it provides a co continuous connection for quite a distance to the north, as I believe. Is it, or does anybody, do you know that, David, or um, Peter? Or, or way, uh, wayside or the proposed? Or, well, I guess, what, I guess, okay, so Wayside becomes, like she said, part of OST, and OST then, I mean, intersects with OST, makes a connection, and then OST goes to the north. And then, and I don't know if it becomes another uh, name or not, but it extends pretty far to the yeah. north. Yeah. It goes up and to I-10. To I-10, is that okay? 
Yeah. And then beyond yeah. at the Liberty Road then, where it continues yeah, as all 90. Yeah. Okay, go on. I'm sorry, Peter. Go on. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So then north. Yeah. That was my point. I yeah. always think that when, um, although there are issues to the south, I always look at how far these, um, you know, that there is continuous right away or, or connections, although South Wayside isn't technically connecting all the way to the north to Liberty, but it's a continuous, you know, you have a continuous connection there that's important. So I mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. have concerns when, when um, major thoroughfares of that length are then terminated through, you know, are deleted on the thoroughfare public plan. And that's just my yeah. concern, but I do understand the um, the issues to the south and those coordination with 35 and whatnot. So, anyway, okay. that was, um, I just wondered if you had had, yeah, if you'd had more information on 35 and it sounds like, you don't, except that you don't know what text, you, you're going to be working with text up further, right? Right, for where it comes to Dixie and any plans for south. SH-35 currently uh, designs are underway uh, for the part from Dixie to Long, uh, Long, the little stretch to uh, the 610 loop, and then okay. all the way up to uh, what's currently known as Spur 5. Okay, Spur 5, and what, let me, let me look. Well, no, I don't have my thoroughfare plan up anymore. I had it. That's, that's okay. Yeah, that's Spur right. Five is is where it it used to connect into. They've closed it down that portion now, but it was where it shot off fifty nine to go down. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Spur Five. That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can you see this? Right. Well, yeah. There's the thoroughfare plan. Okay. Um. And here is Spur 5 up here, just north of Ray's Bayou. Right. Okay. Right. And then that's where it stops, and then you have to be okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you jumping on and asking poignant questions. Well, I'm not sure how poignant they were, but um, <laughs> anyway. Um, but thank you, yes. Thank you for... Um, for answering my questions. Bye. Thanks for coming. Okay, five minutes left. Peter, how are the other rooms doing? Very quiet. What just happened was the most riveting thing that's <laughs> happened in an hour. We have it Are we going back I to heard there main? was some good discussion on the Kingwood one, though. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been part of that one. There's lots to talk about there, so yeah. And at 7:30, we all just sign off. On, that's, I believe Sharon we don't said. go back to the main room. Nope. Okay, sounds good. Oh, but I have to find out: do we have to do anything with the recording, or does it happen automatically? It happens automatically. It just gets um, emailed to the host. Oh, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. So, David, was, was Susan part of Planning Commission or... A concerned citizen. I wasn't clear on that. Yes, Susan Alleman is on Planning Commission. Okay, I couldn't see her last name, and I knew there was a Susan mm -hmm. Alleman on Planning Commission, but I couldn't see her. She, I could only see Susan, and she certainly sounded like she had more of a vested interest and and knowledge of the major thoroughfare plan. So, I oh yeah, that was in it. my in my years working here, she's definitely been one of the more knowledgeable and interested commissioners on this topic. Yeah, it's great. I I appreciate that level of involvement and commitment from our planning commission 
members. Definitely. It also saves us the trouble of the part where we have to explain what the major fair fair plan is. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Hi, Carmen. Sure this is Sharon. Just jumping in, checking on you guys. Hey, Peter. How'd it go? Oh, well. Good. I just posted a message to you and team. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We wanted to confirm at 7.30, we just log off, right? We're not all going back to the main room. That is absolutely correct. I would only ask that you just turn off the recording, please. Of course, it'll cut off automatically, but it doesn't hurt to push the button. Don't actually see how to... Oh, stop recording. I see it. That's a stop recording. Yeah, you'd be okay. good. And no need to turn, return to the main room. We should be good. I've been kind of bouncing around to A through K to let everybody know the same. Okay. Well, thank you, David. Thanks, Carmen. Nice and easy night. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah, we were pretty quiet over here, Sharon. We had right. four people all in, I think. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And, and the technology worked. We were able to disseminate the message without any problem. Everybody okay? Yeah, David was a big help. And um, I, did, I did get cut off. Uh, once, but I managed to get back in in time to talk to Susan. So wonderful. Thank you, Carmen, for your time. And next meeting will be the uh, public hearing, and we'll talk to you before then for sure. Okay, great. Good night. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Thank you both so much. Really appreciate it. Likewise. Take care. Bye.